Hey guys, and welcome back to the Anthony Co Designs channel. Um, this is Anthony here on a Tuesday evening. Um, I hope you've all had a uh, great day and a good week so far. And um, in this tutorial today, we're going to be creating this Pinterest style. Um, collection view um, and it's uh, relatively easy to do this um, so I'm going to take you I've already created my project I've called it um, collection view swift um, and I've already added some assets in here I've already had a color which is just standard uh, white and I've added 34 images from 0 to 33 um, so um, first things first, we are going to deal with the images and how we're going to order them out. So I'm going to create a new file and for now I'm just going to call this images. Okay, so in here we can get rid of this because we're not going to need it. And we are going to say var photos is equal to int. Okay. So as we are setting this up in an array, we are just telling um, this images file, um, how much images we've got, um, how we want to display them, and all that good stuff on here. So, um, and I'm going to say two here, and we're going to say this again dot collect, collect, and we're not going to give this a value. Basically, what this is doing here is in the collection I want two. So this is going to display two either side of one another. Um, obviously I could say this is also as one and now we just get one going down but we want this because we are um, designing this with the keeping in mind how um, Pinterest looks with their um, collection view is that's what we are really um, hoping for that's our end goal um, so I'm going to say photos is equal to zero so for now zero um, obviously we do not need that on don't worry about all the errors in here and now we're just going to ask this to return this and we're gonna get, we're gonna ask this in a for each, and we're gonna get this to display in a h a h deck in one second. Maybe we're gonna say photos dot count because we want them to. We are told this up here that there is 0 to 33 photos and we're going to give them an ID that's slash self and we're going to say collect and this is how we want them to be displayed like this here and we are going to give them a spacing of about 10 because we don't want them to be too far apart and I think this um, like a window if you will window design um, is perfect for what we are looking for we're going to say for each, for 
for each. And we're going to say photo, photos in the collect with the ID of sorry, dot self. And now we are going to say collection. standard image and we are looking um, for photos in that assets folder called for you for you inside the HDK with a corner radius. Um, I'm going to go with about 8. Oh, I mean 10 would probably be pushing it. Um, 8 would be on the safe side. But obviously it's up to you guys on how you want your um, photos to look when they're inside your HDK in the collection view like so. So now we're going to come back to our um, main view, our content view. Um, basically now what we need to do is display them on the screen. Um, so first of all we're going to create a state. And this is going to tell us, oh dear. Um, What has currently um, been selected, obviously, this doesn't really matter to us right now, but for um, later on down the road tutorials, where we'll be, we will be coming back to revisit this Pinterest app and, you know, adding all the extra bits that um, Pinterest have, it's good for us to right now to kind of put this in place. So we are looking, we're going to create a VSEC. Um, now we're just going to say if self dot selected um, is still equal to zero, then we're going to do this. And we're going to add a scroll view on here. And we're going to say dot vertical scroll T cool and show in which I'm going to have this as false now we're going to add another VSEC in here with no spacing but we are first going to add a spacer just um, to keep it to give it that distance that distance there from the top because on Pinterest on the app uh, on the other phone has the for you and the following um, toggles at the top um, which we will come we will do on a later video this is why we are putting this already in place these are already the foundations for that um, and now we are just simply going to add images in here and then we're going to give this some padding. <sighs> okay, so um, this should be exactly like this now. And what we want to do is think about 
because um, if this was the for you page, for example, on Pinterest, this is going to store the stuff that we've liked previously um, and all that stuff. And there it is displayed nicely on the view, exactly like this one. Um, so yes, if we had a toggle up here that would tell us that it was on the free page or the following, um, then we're going to have a different set of images for this. So if you think about if this, these, if these images was just for, for you, images that we have in assets, then this really would be the same for following so and then this would be displayed on here so in the toggle this, this would be if we are on for you then we are going to display the for you images but else if it's selected as one for example we would be showing the following images so that is the that is it for this tutorial guys, very simple, um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, um, um, be sure to stay tuned on my channel though, there's going to be um, quite a lot of content coming in, in the next um, few days, especially more on this Pinterest styled um, redesign on with Swift UI. Um, if you have enjoyed this, please like, um, subscribe as well. Thank you for your support, guys, and um, have a great Tuesday evening.